Good morning. I'm going to be reading from 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 through 26. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it, in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. What a, what a special, special time we get to share around the table to remember just exactly what Jesus has done for us. You know, I think we take a lot of stuff for granted. Uh, just the, the simplicity of being here together this morning and to encourage one another and to love on one another. And we can do all this because of what Jesus has done for us. Would you pray with me? When we uh, think of Jesus and what he went through the last days that he was on this earth, the suffering and the, the pain, the anguish, but he always went to the Father in prayer. His strength was with God. And though he suffered horribly, the outcome of that was, was just pure joy. And that joy is yours and mine to share. That Jesus Christ is alive and well, and he's coming again. And so Lori and I have been talking about the things that we've gone through in our lives and the sufferings that people are going through today. As long as we have God and Jesus Christ in our life, when we get through the other side, the amazement that happens, I mean, the suffering that goes on, but the, the joy that we have when we make it through, the strength that we get from Jesus Christ is not that bad things are not going to happen to us. It's the strength to walk through them. And it's the, it's the family that we have here in this church in this body of Christ. Let's uh, glorify his name together in prayer.